G here from OG Creations. Again? Sometimes I'm left with extra product that I have no clue what I want to do with it. Why not? Yeah, why not? Like these black tank tops that I purchased to create my Harry Potter series. Who's Harry Potter? They sat on a shelf, collect dust, until I feel inspired. Recently, when I was looking through some images on my computer, Dexter's masturbating to gay porn. I came across these vibrant sunset drawings, and bingo, finally, some inspiration. So looking at these black palm tree silhouettes, I can recreate those by loose crumple and reverse dyeing the tanks. And as for this wonderful, colorful gradation from water to sky, I think I'll take these babies outside and do a decline hot water irrigation treatment on them. So now that I have an actual idea on how to use these, I'm really excited. I'm going to cream. Let's get started. I start by crumpling damp men's 100% cotton black ribbed tanks directly on my dye racks. Who cares? I apply a 2 to 1 water to bleach solution for 20 minutes. I had a few extra thongs and bikinis that I thought I would use the same treatment on. Those are the items that are bleaching out more of the yellowy white shade. Ew. The tanks are more orangey burnt sienna. Favorite color? <laughs> burnt sienna! They are soaked in a 5 to 1 peroxide to water solution for 10 to 15 minutes. Who cares? They are then rinsed in cold water for 5 minutes before being placed in a soda ash bath for 25 minutes. They are then racked for 24 hours until practically dry. The tanks are loosely crumpled again but left stretched out so I have more length to play with. Oh, how deliciously kinky!
I mix three teaspoons of each of my dye colors with one fourth cup soda ash. For the blue sunset, I'm going to start with the yellow at the shoulders and work my way down the shirt to the darker shades. I'm going to be using daffodil, coral pink, sky blue, and midnight blue. For the fuchsia sunset, I'm going to reverse that and have the yellow at the bottom and work my way up with the rich pinks on the shoulders. These colors will be bright yellow, deep orange, dragon fruit, and magenta galactica. Once the dyes are applied, outside we go. I place my dye racks at about a 45 degree angle. Using my plant mister, filled with hot water, I begin to soak the shirts. 100% moist liquid. Since it was about 75 degrees out, I'm melting. I left the shirts for about eight hours and then brought them indoors and set them aside for another 24 hours.
still watching? They were rinsed in cold water, and then I slowly increased the temperature to hot to wash out any residual soda ash. They were ran through the laundry using a cold water cycle and then a hot water cycle. After being dried, ironed, and placed into inventory, they were added to my Etsy store, ready to purchase. Oh, shame! You can purchase yours today by clicking the link above or by visiting ogcreationstore.etsy.com. Okay, so I'm really happy with these. The only small issue I see is with that coral pink on the blue tanks. This was the first time I've used it, and I should have tested it out on a white shirt to see how it died up. Either way, you can definitely see the inspiration pictures in both. I call that a success. Aha! Success! Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please remember to leave them in the comment section below. I love responding to everyone. As always, make sure to like and subscribe. See you next week.